Okay, so we look at Assassin's Creed Chronicles China at 21 by 9. Ubisoft certainly liked to make full use of their IPs, and so it's no surprise they found a way to turn AC into a 2.5D side-scroller, a very distant type of gameplay to the open-world settings of its bigger siblings. The question is, is it worth playing these smaller titles over the open-world ones, or are they just simply a money grab with no real demand? And honestly, it's not all positive in my book, but first, the 21 by 9 support. So natively, there is no support whatsoever, it just locks it all to 16x9 with black bars, a frustration because unlocking the game to fill our 21x9 screens is so damned easy, so why it's not native, I don't know. But full credit to Caesar Man, well, I believe it's him, credit links in the description, for providing the information on what to do. It's a basic hex edit, like we've seen in many game mods in the past, and an INI file edit fix. Now, you have two choices here. The easy one is you just use the links in the description to download the already modded files, and all you need to do is replace the native ones with these, and you can play right away. The file locations of the two files you need to replace are in the description, so just check there for what to do. The alternative is you do the modding yourself. It's really easy and quick, and I'm including the information because download links frequently break, so at least this way you can manually do it if need be. I should also point out you need to rename one of the files for it to work, again though, details down below. So the first step for manually modding the game, you need to do a hex edit. Go into your game's download file location with a new play, go through China, ACC Game, Cooked PC Console, and inside there is a file called accgame.upk. Open that file within a hex editing software like HXD, link to that software in the description, Hit Ctrl F and look for the hex string 4C8EE33F and change that string to 8FE39840. Then save and close the window. Now go into your documents folder, My Games, Unreal Engine 3, ACC Game, Config, and inside there is a file called accinput.ini. Open that file in Notepad and at the bottom of the section called Engine Player Input, copy and paste in the text you see on screen. Full details in the description with what you need to copy and paste. Then save and close the file and you're done. So now the modding is complete, the game will correctly show off more on the sides of the screen at all moments with no pop-in or lighting issues. Menus all extend to show off more of the white, grey background simulation effects moving on the sides, but just locking all menu elements to 16x9, and this applies to the HUD during gameplay. In-game menu pop-up screens, like the tutorial information, have a faded black background, but these sadly don't extend past the 16x9 section and just cut off abruptly, but they're short-lived moments, so you won't be looking at them for long. Cutscenes are all pre-rendered, drawn, still images, and so locked to 16x9 with black bars, the best option for what is available. Now, general PC support-wise, there is a serious problem you'll want to deal with, the game is natively locked to 60 FPS for absolutely no reason at all, and this causes huge FPS stuttering issues for anyone looking to run over 60 FPS. So to unlock the frame rate, you want to return to your documents, My Games, Unreal Engine 3, ACC Game, Config, and in there is a file called PC Console ACC Engine.ini, and open that in Notepad. Then find the line B Smooth Frame Rate and change that from True to False. Then save the file and close, and now the FPS will be unlocked and the gameplay will be silky smooth, this is a must do fix. Otherwise there is full controller on mouse and keyboard support, there are like no graphic settings whatsoever apart from the resolution, but the graphics are pretty basic, even though the art style is attractive, so you shouldn't have much difficulty running this on your setup. So gameplay wise, imagine trying to transfer many of your assassin skills from the main game series but apply them to a side scroller setting. It works pretty well with a decent number of gameplay mechanics to play around with but you still feel limited and things do get very repetitive rather quickly simply because you're restricted to this 2, well 2.5D realm. Now I want you to bear in mind that my opinion is from someone who doesn't really get the appeal of games like 2D Mario, that game style of being locked on a flat plane. It doesn't really appeal to me, though there are of course exceptions with games like Limbo and Cuphead. Yeah, I want you to take that into consideration when I say that I felt lacking attachment to gameplay. It could well be that this is a style you love and so it sits far better with you. The story is very basic, just a mission of killing a few people. There isn't any comedy or real attempt at making the story compelling at all. Like, I really couldn't have cared less about the story, but for this type of game, you're unlikely to be coming for a gripping tale, 
Instead, you're looking for solid gameplay mechanics. And like I said, they are pretty solid, but the overall imagination of the game feels massively close-minded. It doesn't push any boundaries. It's certainly no Mario Maker in terms of depth. Voice acting is lackluster, with acting that seriously is pretty shocking at times from the main character. She doesn't really seem to care about delivering her lines with any genuine emotion at all. Levels are also not really memorable. Whilst they look rather pretty as you run through them, you're not going to remember them after the fact. And really, I'm going to sum this up very easily. I can see this being a fun game when you're on the go and only have a laptop at hand with little power and so you don't have the choice of playing fully-fledged games. In this scenario, I can see this being an enjoyable distraction. But otherwise, I can't see any real reason to recommend picking it up. I'm going to give it a WAF score of 3 as well. With the modding completed, it does work well at 21 by 9 It's just the gameplay that is stopping me from recommending this. Anyway, I hope that gives you some information on the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel or the WAF website. Hopefully I've covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, the links to my Patreon page are in the description and Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later.我听说刺客组织回来了随时保持警戒而你们也要信守承诺 我听说秋菊现在在要塞这里，他来视察古大用的任务进度。现在我们拥有的奴隶比能卖出去的还多。我相信他会很高兴的。我想他在这里的真正目的应该是为了。现在我们拥有的奴隶比能卖出去的还多
，我想他在这里的真正目的，应该是为了刺客组织。别听信传言。我听说秋菊现在在要塞这里，他来视察古大用的任务进度。现在。